Guys, the shooting may not have happened here, but OHP says they're going to continue to do training throughout the state. OHP says they'll study this shooting and others like it to help train Oklahomans. We had an executive order that mandated that every trooper in the state be trained before the first of the year. Another dark day across America. Three kids, three adults, and the shooter all dead in the aftermath of another school shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. OHP says they've been working to train law enforcement since an executive order from the governor last year. Every new law enforcement officer that comes out 2023 and beyond uh, has to be trained in the same technique. Trooper Foster says agencies around the state have mainstreamed their training, so officers, deputies and troopers are all on the same page to handle active shooters. But now there's a new focus people that could be too close to a shooter. As we're starting to train teachers in run, hide, fight system, we're starting to train uh, church and clergy staff in these situations. The Oklahoma School Security Institute says they've worked to secure schools around the state, visiting them and making recommendations. We try and give a plan where they may lock the majority of those doors, those doors and eliminate those, and maybe have one or two into the schools. Shelton says another measure to secure schools are school resource officers, but they don't all have one. They're not required to. K through 12s, uh, private charter schools, uh, even higher ed, there is no, no requirement uh, as far as law or legislation out there. There's nothing that requires them to. A big reason is funding, paying the officers to be there. The school has to pay to have that extra security layer, or sometimes they work out a deal with a local police department to split the costs. The school will have to budget for that themselves. They will have to expend those funds uh, uh, in order to get an SRO. But there is legislation in the works to give schools security upgrades. Senate Bill 100 and Senate Bill 101 that will mandate assessments uh, for schools. And if passed Senate Bill 101 would uh, give money to OSSII, uh, OSSI rather, to help pay for those security upgrades to schools.